Jerry Lee Lewis's career is interesting for mostly all the wrong reasons. His predatory actions have long been discussed, but I find it more perplexing that he was able to steer past it and achieve a career revival and a legacy that is not only revered, but widely praised and celebrated. There are many musicians who are, for a lack of better words, predatory, questionable, and just bad people. Ultimately, people will listen to and celebrate who they want, though, regardless of controversy or scandals. There are also musicians who are widely influential, but their personal life and poor choices have encompassed what they did musically. Jerry Lee Lewis seems to write that line very finely. Although his controversy didn't go unnoticed, it seems almost obsolete to his standing in the industry today. I cannot imagine an artist in this day and age being able to marry their 13-year-old cousin and still later on being able to top the charts and be awarded by huge musical institutions. In recent years, Jerry Lee Lewis has become a symbol of validation for other famous predatory men to justify their sick actions, like R. Kelly, for example. One of his victims alleged that he compared himself to Jerry Lee Lewis. Even look at Jerry Lee Lewis, she claimed Kelly said. He's a genius, and I'm a genius. We should be allowed to do whatever we want. Look at what we give to the world. Nicknamed the killer, Jerry Lee is dubbed one of rock's wildest men, but I think even that is an understatement. Jerry fell in love with rock and roll as a kid, primarily due to the rise of Elvis Presley. Jerry sought to make his presence known in the industry, and in 1956 would release his debut single, Crazy Arms. His huge breakthrough moment wouldn't come until his song titled, Whole Lot of Shaking Going On shook up the music industry. It was deemed too sexual and banned from radio. It wasn't until he did a highly publicized performance of the track that he got a breakthrough and was catapulted to fame. In turn, he became a heartthrob, but his status as a heartthrob did not come without pushback. The general public was not pleased with his sexually charged songs. Still, he earned the admiration of young people. His young cousin, Myra Williams, was a fan of his music, and Jerry Lee Lewis took notice. At only 21 years old, Jerry Lee Lewis had already been married twice and had a son, so he was much more experienced with marriage and relationships. Myra has stated that she had no idea she was going to marry Jerry Lee. In fact, he didn't even ask her. He told her he was going to marry her. She insisted that she was too young, and he disagreed. His family told him that it was a terrible idea, but he didn't listen to them either. And just five months after Myra's birthday, they married in 1957. Jerry was 22, and she was 13 years old. Jerry was initially advised to keep their marriage a secret, unbeknownst to Myra at the time. However, after being spotted with Jerry, a reporter asked who she was, and it was revealed that she was his wife. It set off a media storm, and Jerry initially lied about Myra's age, claiming that she was 15, but it was later revealed that she was 13 and his second cousin. To add fuel to the fire, he didn't even divorce his second wife before marrying his underage cousin. Myra said that she felt protective of Jerry at that point in time, and hated the way the media treated him, which is a given. She was a child and not fully aware of what was going on. Jerry was quickly blacklisted. He stated that he couldn't understand what he had done wrong. Many people turned on him, and one of those people included Dick Clark, who was a friend of Jerry's. Dick Clark was a well-known and respected radio and television personality. Oddly, probably due to Jerry's later resurgence, Dick would apologize for turning on Jerry Lee Lewis for marrying his 13-year-old cousin, as if Jerry was the victim in this case. Jerry Lee insists that their union wasn't uncommon. Myra would later reveal various details about their marriage. Jerry allegedly had an older friend of his pretend to be Myra and forged her name on the marriage license. Jerry made it seem as if he was taking Myra to the movies. Instead, he took her to a wedding chapel. It was illegal in the state that Myra resided in, so he took her across state lines where it would be legal. The marriage wouldn't be revealed to Myra's parents until days later. According to Myra, when her dad found out, he went looking for Jerry with a shotgun. But Jerry had left town. His cousin had become his father-in-law. After things settled and Myra's parents went on a trip, Myra packed her belongings in a doll case and set on her new life with Jerry. Myra no longer had a childhood and would take on what she calls wifely duties, such as banking, grocery shopping, and going to the cleaners. Myra was obviously not prepared for the media storm that took place, 
once the public found out about their marriage. She became a tabloid fixture, and Jerry's career would totally be ruined. His performances were empty, and he was heckled. He drastically waned in popularity, and was no longer a factor in the 60s. Radio personnel would instantly throw his records in the trash. His pay drastically decreased, from making upwards of $10,000 to just $200. Eventually, Myra would also become pregnant. Sadly, in 1962, she lost her first child due to a drowning. In 1963, she would have another child. Jerry Lee would spend time trying to recover from the scandal, but as he was gaining momentum, the Beatles would take over. To Lee's surprise, the Beatles stated that he inspired them to become musicians once they met. Myra later revealed that due to Jerry's beliefs, she had to remake herself and her own personality got stripped away. As Myra became older, she slowly started to realize that the way she was being treated wasn't right. In 1970, according to Myra, Jerry became involved in some bad drugs that resulted in endless counts of verbal abuse. She found out Jerry was cheating on her and it ruined her world. They were married for 13 years before getting a divorce. To reinvent his career and garner success, Jerry would turn to the country world heading into the 70s, and country music was very kind to him and restored his popularity. In 1989, Myra wrote a book about her life with Jerry Lee called Great Balls of Fire. It would inspire a movie of the same name. Myra was not happy with how the movie portrayed her story. Over the years, Jerry and Myra would fall into a neutral relationship. Their daughter, Phoebe, would oversee Jerry's business affairs and take care of him. In 2006, they did a photo shoot together for Rolling Stone, which went unused by the magazines, which was a good move. Don't know why anyone thought that was a good idea. Jerry is now married to Myra's brother's ex-wife. Myra's brother's ex-wife actually divorced Myra's brother to marry Jerry. Myra's brother named Rusty is Jerry's second cousin and ex-brother-in-law. Rusty also played in Jerry's band for years. Let's just say Jerry obviously likes to keep it in the family. Myra has stated that she likes his music, but her and Jerry no longer have any type of relationship. Myra's feelings on her past marriage seems to be a bit complex. She doesn't know she defined him as a cradle robber, but she does feel that even for past standards, that it was odd for a 22-year-old man to choose a 13-year-old girl. She said there's only one reason that would occur, and that's because he wanted someone he could control and mold. Myra stated that she experienced verbal, physical, and emotional abuse at the hands of Jerry, and she holds some anger about the times he hit her and wishes she would have hit him back. In her own words, Myra said that her daughter Phoebe saved his sorry ass. She got him off drugs, she got his finances back on track, she helped to get his health back on track, and got him booked again. Still, Myra wishes him no ill will, and most of all, she cherishes the daughter they had together. In her book, she describes Jerry as the piano player who stole her innocence when she was a child. Myra would eventually circle back and get her GED and become a successful real estate agent. Jerry Lee Lewis, despite his controversy, is still highly revered. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1986, and in 2022, he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. He is one of the last standing prominent rock and rollers from his time period.